Our Tim Estilos just caught up with Brendan. Here's your sneak peek to a new journey. Ah! Trent, is that we are? Don't worry. Direction is my sixth sense. What's out? Ah! In Journey to the Center of the Earth, Brendan Fraser leads a trio of reluctant explorers on the adventure of a lifetime into an amazing world never before seen by human eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the center of the Earth. But this strange new world poses all sorts of hidden dangers as their journey becomes a race against time to survive. Temperature's rising quickly. How much time do we have? 48 hours, probably less. Frazier, who's best known for his work in the Mummy film franchise, is no stranger to fantasy films. So it was an easy transition for him to work as executive producer on this special effect filled 3D project. Along the way, I've learned a lot on the job, so to speak. And also, the job itself has kind of come to a point where if you can imagine it, you can create it. I have had the opportunity to get an education as um, understanding what it takes to get a sequence from the page to the screen when it involves working and interacting with elements that are not there and, and trusting that you will believe that they are. Something moving down there. I think it's some sort of fish. Oh. Maybe this unique special effect sequences throughout this film that make it one wild ride for moviegoers. They're everywhere! So I told you we get the batty cage! But the challenge for the actors was having to battle imaginary creatures in 3D against a blue screen. But the effort was worth it when the finished product turns into an exciting sequence like this one. You hear something? Oscar-winning visual effects artist Eric Brevig makes his directorial debut with his film, and he's eager to praise his actor's contribution to its production. This guy, as, as he was saying before, as an executive producer, was very useful in identifying what was really important about the movie, and sometimes we had to go to the studio and say, no, this is going to be great. You know, if you don't trust me, trust him, and if you don't trust him, trust us together, and we were able to convince them. More, so, more often than not, and sometimes if they said no, we'd just say, thank you for the suggestion, and we'd do it anyway, hand it to them, and they go, that was the best idea we ever had! <laughs> True story. Pull the brake! Pull the brake! We won't make it! Frazier says this is more than just an action adventure, thanks in large part to the three main characters. <laughs> Yeah. We start off as this sort of band of misfits. We don't really like one another that much, and we get stuck in this absurd situation that's dangerous, and it brings out the best in one another so that we can see if we can escape it or not. Make conversation with me. So, Hannah, do you, do you come here often? Oh, give me a break. That can't be the best thing. Oh, no! Trevor! <laughs> I can't! I can't! The wall's widen out down here! Trevor, your rope is caught on mine! If I take this all down, I'm gonna have to cut you loose! What? Hell no! Wait a minute! Wait, 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 wait! No! Don't, don't, don't. And uh, Anita Bream, who is the... Probably prettiest face. She's the prettiest face. She's the genuine article. She is from Iceland. She was an invaluable asset in terms of the, the authenticity of dialect. And the chemistry between the three main characters, which audiences are really responding to. But it's groundbreaking 3D effects in this movie that the filmmakers say brings the action to new heights of realism. This is 3D like you have never seen it before, and it has to be seen, and you will believe, and you will, you will absolutely go along with them. 
for this journey and likely won't have to come back and do it again. Have you